I'm always delighted to be with Saul Nuzis, who's been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for September 2nd, 2022. The Washington Examiner reports, Kevin McCarthy says Joe Biden does not understand the soul of America. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy slammed the Biden administration's recent attacks on Republicans, saying President Joe Biden does not understand the soul of America. He's trying to distract from his disasters that he's created in this country. The problem with Joe Biden is he does not understand the soul of America. The tens of millions of hardworking, law-abiding citizens that he vilifies that simply want to have a say in their kids' education, to go to a school board meeting, want a gasoline price that they can afford, no longer wants inflation to continue to rise, afraid to go out in their streets to be safe again. They want a stronger, safer, more prosperous America, and all he does is vilify them to distract from the disasters and no plan he has to save America from where we are today. On Wednesday, the White House press secretary criticized Republicans for attacking democracy. Her comments follow President Biden calling MAGA Republicans a, quote, threat to our very democracy. McCarthy was also asked about recent headlines coming out of California where the state is asking people to stop charging their electric vehicles and passing legislation targeting the fast food industry, and where universities are holding on to COVID-19 mask and vaccine mandates. The House Republican leader warned that these Democratic policies could soon sweep the nation. An article from The Hill states, Democrat Mary Peltola defeats Sarah Palin in Alaska special election. Former Alaska State Representative Mary Peltola, a Democrat, defeated former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin to win the special election to fill the remainder of the late Representative Don Young's term in the House, a stunning upset that makes her the first Alaska native in Congress. Peltola will be the first Democrat to hold the seat in decades. The last time a member of her party was elected to represent the state's at-large congressional district was in 1971. Her victory came after votes were tabulated late Wednesday as part of the state's new ranked choice voting system. And finally, another article from The Hill reports, GOP looks for Senate campaign reset heading toward November. Republicans are looking to hit the reset button on their Senate midterm election playbook after weeks of poor polls and stories about Democratic momentum. Senate GOP candidates emerged from primaries battered, bruised, and struggling to gain traction in their general election matchups. Even GOP leaders in the upper chamber began expressing reservations about candidate quality and the party's ability to win a majority. Campaigns and political parties almost always undergo some changes as they pivot from primary season toward the general election, moderating various positions staked out in the primaries and reevaluating where to best spend their resources. But Republicans have been at the brunt of a wave of stories in recent weeks about Democratic momentum, particularly in key Senate races, as well as polls showing Democratic Senate nominees leading in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Wisconsin. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for September 2nd, 2022. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.